It is. It's everybody's favorite time. The group text behind the velvet rope combo platter. Good morning, David. Crossover. It really is becoming everyone's favorite, Melissa. I don't know if you realize this. Oh, yeah. People, people are loving it. I like the fact that they can get us all a cart or as a pre fee. Listen, we are here to just please and, you know, we're giving someone everything, right? Exactly. And what we love to talk about reality gossip, plus some other glock gossip, but basically based in reality. So here's where I think we have to start. You know where I'm going. Bethany Frankel and that ginormous engagement ring that literally you can see from space. It's, I mean, oh, how, listen, I mean, I've never had an engagement ring. How many carrots do you think this is? Because I I really can't tell. Uh, It's well over 10. Wow. Well, and if you look at the picture, it's kind of set on a slight angle because it's probably too long to stay inside like her knuckle. Well, girlfriend is thrilled to be showing it off now, isn't she? Oh, yes, she is. And you explained to me, you were telling me the story that she did. She's getting in a little war of the words with uh, and just like that, the the um, Sex in the City reboot. I mean, they have this scene with like Sarah Jessica Parker and she's saying like, you know, I almost rented a Hamptons house like six years in a row. And then, you know, it was suggested like, well, why didn't you? Is it because of Bethany Frankel? Look, I mean, it was a thing and I didn't think anything of it. And then everyone starts saying, like, is this a diss by Andy Cohn? Because, I mean, Andy is really good friends with Sarah Jessica Parker. Sarah Jessica Parker, look, I don't think she has total say over the dialogue, but she is a producer. I mean, she has some say. I mean, I don't know. Like, is this Andy getting this dig in at Bethany through SJP and then just like that? Or are we just... Am I just so entrenched in the reality TV world that I'm reading way too much into this and I need to take a day off? Well, let's not forget that Andy is a businessman and Bethany Frankel has made him a lot of money. A lot. So I don't think, I I couldn't imagine that he knew that was coming. But it's really, this story has picked up a lot of steam. You know what I don't understand about it? Like when I think of the Hamptons where I am over the summer, I just, I mean, do I think of Bethany? I I guess. But, you know, I think of like Ina Garten and like there's really people that you associate the Hamptons with. I mean, Bethany, since when do we associate the Hamptons really with Bethany? Is that a thing? No, I don't think so. I think the Hamptons are just associated with really rich East, you know, New Yorkers getting away on the weekends and getting away for the summer. I mean, I know a lot of people who during COVID moved to their Hampton houses. Now, mind yeah. you, I don't have a Hampton house. I have never, I have not never. I haven't been out to the Hamptons in the summer in at least, 15 to 20 years. Did you get bored of it out here? A lot of people get bored of it out here. I, I, it was just sort of never my thing, but I didn't live on the East coast. I think that's what it is. You know, it, it, for me, that's what it is. But the Hamptons have become very associated with the housewives. Yeah. So, I mean, I guess it's not that strange. I just feel, I mean, people read into, I think her clapback was, you know, brilliant i mean i think she also loves being a mentioned i mean she gets to promote her new beverage well that was my favorite was she did the clap back and immediately turned it into but that's okay because i'm sitting out here drinking my new rosé you know she is she is smarter than the average bear yeah i mean listen if i'm sitting here talking to you and someone tells me that behind the velvet rope or melissa rivers group text or our crossover is mentioned on and just like that I'm fine with that. And I'm going to clap back in such a way, right? I'm going to clap back by saying, thank you. Thank you very thank you. much. Please feel free to do it whenever, but let's go back to Bethany's ring. Yeah. So exp- I, you actually know, not know, like, no, no, but knew who the fiance was. And I had no idea they've been engaged since February of 2021. Why do you think she suddenly 
showing it and talking about it? Do we? I think it's a whole press thing for the launch of the wine. I mean, I kind of tend to agree because like she was engaged. It was nothing was ever announced. Then like the paparazzi did catch her and Paul on the beach, like I think last year. And, you know, they saw the ring. She wasn't showing it off. You know, in her defense, she really wasn't. So, but even then, instead of just saying, like, let me address this, and these are the pictures, and there's obvious, she still really didn't speak out about it. I kind of agree with you. You know, I mean, she did this whole post on Instagram that says, like, I guess I never really addressed my engagement. And I mean, then there's a million pictures. If you slide left, there's one of the ring, there's one of them getting engaged. I really think it's time. I mean, I I think like you said, she just, it's all business to her, which I personally love. Like I could respect the hustle, right? So tie it all back to business, right? Well, speaking of that, okay. Speaking of tying it all back to business. So we see Kourtney Kardashian, another reality star at her husband's concert, Travis Barker holding up a sign that says, Travis, I'm pregnant. Because they we, we've been following their fertility storyline through the show. Yeah. Okay. Here's my, and everyone like freaked out. And he supposedly was like, oh my God, and runs over to the side of the stage. But then they post pictures from that same night and she is clearly pregnant and wearing like a sheer shirt. Like you can see the whole belly. So, Here's my question. It's a it's a it's a double whammy. Was this and it was and she, they talked about that this was sort of her takeoff of something that happened in a Blink One Eighty Two video. So was this just their public revelation that they were pregnant and doing it? And that's clever and cute to do it like the video. Or are we? being asked to believe that Travis didn't really know. Because if he didn't really know, and she's such a health addict, you would have had one point to say, honey, step away from the buffet. Yeah, I mean, I am I, I would really like to know. I just assumed, well, I mean, at first I thought that he was finding out this way, same as you, until you see the pictures. There's also a picture now I think on her Instagram or somewhere where she is like literally showing her stomach. It's like, this is, I mean, I don't oh, know. Oh yes. There's far... a bikini pic. Yeah. So I don't know. Like you might know better than me since you actually are a mother and have a child. <laughs> like how many months along is, I mean, it's certainly not. Yeah. I mean, he would have known this. I think this was just their public announcement and they're tying it to the video, but that's not really what we were led to believe at the moment or right. I mean, he seemed so surprised and, but yeah, right. You have to have known this. 